Hello, welcome to the second part of this song. In this video I will show you how to create a solo. I will first show you the chords and afterwards I will show you the solo and then I will give you some tips and tricks on how to play the solo since it may be quite difficult at first. So yeah, I will show you the chords now. the chords the G6 you can just play like this then the C7 add 7 I'm not 100% sure about that name but um, you can play like this it's a really uh, yeah a really uh, very very jazzy chord but you can also play a C7 he make the marker sometimes does that but he mostly plays it like this For the D13, you sometimes make the mark go makes it the D9 like this. So yeah, you can you can change that up from time to time. So you can play like this. also hammer it on you can play around with that so now I will uh, loop those chords and play the solo first two times or something and then I will explain it to you in detail So as you maybe saw already, this solo is played in E minor pentatonic, F sharp minor pentatonic really, but relative to the capo I will call it E minor pentatonic. It's, he plays in E minor pentatonic because I think the root note of the, the chords in the uh, solo bit is the G and the relative key of G is E minor, so that's why he plays e, an E minor scale. But I. I, I have a more detailed explanation of that at the ending of uh, my video of still beating so you can also check that out if you like more information on that but now it's most important that you know the scale so I will uh, play the solo slowly and give you some tips first of all it's very important that you do uh, a downstroke upstroke part so so downstroke upstroke downstroke up so you switch them the whole time downstroke upstroke downstroke upstroke and so on the whole bit Yeah, and uh, for your, you really only have to move your pink and your ring finger. You can keep your uh, index finger on the three bottom strings or the bottom two strings. That's also okay. It depends what you, uh, what works best for you. But that makes it easier to, um, yeah, you don't have to move your finger a lot if you do that. So I will play it very slowly now with the solo. Again. And what's important when you're playing this part? You 
you uh, when you when you hit the the 14th fret of the of the G string, it's important that you really uh, don't mute the other notes because you have to go down again. You have to play. That might happen the first few times, so it's important that you you make a you 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 make a more like a bridge uh, playing that note with your fingers instead of. It's important that you leave space for the the bottom two strings. I will play it slowly again. So and it's as you can hear when you play it slowly, it's not really that difficult. It's mostly the speed that makes it difficult. So uh, my best advice is to not try to play along at the beginning with the, the studio version because that might go too fast. But really build up your speed. So first play really slowly like I'm doing now, and then at the end you can play it very much faster when you try to build it up. So every time a few a few times faster. So I will play. Slowly again, I will divide it in two halves, so I will show you the first half now. This part is really the most difficult at the bottom strings. Then the second part. So yeah, that's it's basically try to play it a lot, try to really focus when, when Andy and Peter plays this. Play play these the first time you can really see their faces that they are fully focused on playing this so yeah th just give it a lot of time um, well, when you're playing guitar already for a long time it might be easier but the most important thing is that you really that you can play the pentatonic scale already this one <laughs> That might help you a lot when you can already play that. Yeah, I will now play it uh, at the normal speed of the song. You can try to play along with that again. Take, give it some time, and yeah. So yeah, I hope everything was clear. I, I hope um, I helped you a bit and um, just give it a lot of time to solo and I'm sure you will get the hang of it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, check out my other stuff and I hope to see you next time.